book, it was amazing. And what caught my eye and uh, what I was amazed that early, you know, when you were a child, um, you realized that you have those powers and you started really going deeper and meditating. You know, someone actually um, taught you how to meditate and go through that. What do you do with a ch child that, you know, is that deep? And I do have a child like that. And um, sometimes I want to push her towards this is right, but I'm actually, it, I'm a huge believer in what you actually were taught. We must understand this. Uh, a child is not an industrial product. A child is a life, a fresh life. You are supposed to nurture this life. It's not that you put it through some kind of a industrial process called a school. It's like an industry. Everybody is taught the same damn thing, everybody is supposed to go through the same thing and come out the same way and find a job and serve something somewhere. This is not what human life is about. There is an innate genius in every human being. Do we have the patience and the commitment and the dedication to pay the necessary attention to bring that out in a specific human being? That's a big question. Otherwise, you will produce dumplings <laughs> all the same, <laughs> okay? So, once you have a child, before you have a child, you must understand, a child means a twenty-year project. Full on. <laughs> that is if they do well. If they don't do well, it's a lifelong project. <laughs> because it's a life. One life may blossom at twelve, another may blossom at forty. Do you have the patience to nurture that life? Or have you already set a thing by the time you finish your high school, you must be in this university, that university, you must be doing this or that. It's all fixed up, common prescription for all life. This is what we're doing, this is supposed to be civilization. This is not civilization, this is just escape from life. We want to escape the fundamental process of life. In tribal societies and other traditional societies, even today, nobody expects a man or a woman has to become like this at a certain time. Depending on each life, how they progress, everybody is valued for who they are. If you plant this chrysanthemum in your house, in three months it's full of flower. If you plant a oak tree, eight years, ten years, nothing happens. <laughs> so you want to chop it down? Hello? None of them would be. If you went by the standard, see this one, how well it is doing in three months, how many flowers, you fool, you're doing nothing. This is not the way to handle life, isn't it? This is not an industrial product. So, I know there are other compulsions in the society, various limitations. Keeping all those in mind, fundamentally we must understand life needs nurture, atmosphere, not fixing. Nothing to be fixed about it. It just needs an atmosphere where it will flourish best. What grows in Southern California will not grow in Minnesota, isn't it? That kind of life needs that kind of atmosphere, that kind of nurture, only then it'll happen. So this is something that we have to pay attention to. There is no involvement. We have… we want everything ready-made. We are looking at a ready-made solution. There's no ready-made solution to life. Life can only happen with enormous involvement. There's simply no other way to do it. Where there is no involvement, there is no experience of life, isn't it? Hello? Yes. Yes. Whether it's a simple food that you eat or something that you look at or whom you live with or what you do or that the highest level, whatever you do in your life, without involvement, there is no life. But right now, modern societies are trying to do life with information, not with involvement. This is a big mistake. You have no information about your child. You can go to all the variety of doctors and get all their ideas about what your child is. All you'll… all they will tell you is that he's sick in a hundred different ways, okay? <laughs> no, you don't need information about your child, you need involvement. 
with involvement, you will bring that life to its best. It need not be as good as somebody else or as bad as somebody else because it's a unique life. Is there one life like another? No. It's a unique life. So, but from right from day one, we are comparing it to another life and trying to make it like that one. This is a very cruel process for the child. A child never understands what the hell the parents want. I never understood. Nobody ever explained to me why the hell I should go to the school, so I never went. <laughs> because nobody explained to me why I have to go to school. They said, no, no, you have to go to school, why? I'm doing fine. <laughs> why should I go to school? No, because we think information is going to transform us. No, information facilitates a few things, but it's involvement which transforms us, isn't it? Absolute involvement it's some in something, it doesn't matter what it is. Total involvement with something, suddenly you find that human being is of a different nature, isn't it? So that's all it takes, involvement.